not on that type of dick. But that's going crazy. Why your dick was never that fire. It was always the table's turn because you're in the, the ball of your court. And you're running with <laughs> it. <laughs> you're traveling, you're dribbling, then you're traveling some more. You pass the ball back to him. It's fucking his head up. Hell no. <laughs> he, he, he confused the court side. He confused the court side with the circus. Like, so now it's like he's trying to create something, trying to take over, and now it's trying to be the court. No, you back in the game. I mean, it's in the game. <laughs> Go ahead, Sean. Keep doing it. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm starting to think, Tariq, I need to put this nigga in jail. You Wait, definitely need to take some legal action, especially concerning the baby. Us. What happened, Tariq? I just woke well, up. How would I go about it, bro? We need to go ahead and go to court. You can go ahead and go to court. Get your custody lined up. Full custody. Get that lined up. I got up. full custody. That's the thing about it. He don't got... He's not on the birth certificate. He don't got the last name. Like... Yeah, and we gotta start moving around. When you move, he don't get that address. He can't add that key. Now we see. We try with an open heart. That you know hurts. what I'm saying? We now did everything did. right. We did everything Not even right. his mother. You see how she getting packages delivered to your house? I by accident. What we playing with? We playing with? We playing with my baby address like that? No. That we see. They proved that stuff. You tried. You was open hearted, open handed, welcoming, open arms. Now you see. Everybody right. taking advantage of the right. authority. That's they played. They made it. Yeah, they they, 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 they think I'm going to go littler. I'm going to go big. They motivate me to shit harder. Like, <laughs> with no child support on crib. Like, yeah. bro. So what we doing now? Let's just give out toilet paper. We're giving out toilet paper. You feel me? So, yeah, you do got to form your legal team. Get that shit together. Yeah. And we're going to show them how we boss up on them. With the legal team, since they want to play illegally in your face and fucking you over, knowing you ain't no police shit. No, right, it's not on the police fuck. shit. And I, Teron, I used to be on some police shit, but I seen how bad it get. I don't really like police no more. Like, I ain't really fuck you with it, bro. They be up all in your business, bro. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck happened They be all up in your business, bro. And then, like, so dressing you, basically, like, right oh, okay, this okay. Year. Pony Pony had all type of shit. Like, I ain't gonna play around. He didn't come do what he did, even though he filmed everything. Right. Pre and pre confess. We just did everything right, bro. We didn't set this up to be against her. We just had to go off because the nigga was fucking going off on us. The fuck? What she supposed to do? We go keep letting you slide on us? Nigga, we was all locked in. The time when I even joined the, the shit for real, for real, we all went fucking viral on fucking, um, what was it? The shade room. But I really got involved with this shit because I was only involved with this shit with Krishan and Jay from my own perspective. Then it came a point where she like, Marge, come on, bro. Like, da 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 da. Nigga, we did everything right since that day. And then when he wanted to financially abuse and just be out of pocket, we still, still ten taking everything to the chin. And then when we do everything right, separate, really get a crib, really do da 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 da. You got access, my nigga. Nobody ever say you can't see Junior, none of that. You just want to bully your way. You want to bully your way. And you don't you deserve it. That's like, all right, that's, that's like Junior. That's like with him, he home, he free, all that. He don't give a fuck about the baby. God that forbid, man. when he go, when he go do his time, it's like if I was then home, he I was beating no bitches. That that's he's like, you ain't no bitches. Like, go get a bitch. And, go and find like, a nigga, up my nigga. Bitch, and I know she don't want to fight. He don't got none. That's he why I told him, him like, none. I look, he want to beat the shit out of you. She's like, no, you don't. And you're right. I don't really want to beat that the shit out of you. It's the nigga. That like, hurts. but if he gonna keep hitting me, bitch, who gonna <laughs> take these gonna punches, bro? Right, right. He not, cause he already know. Even his toughest hitter can't meet, you, can't beat you. So it's like he already know. It's nothing he can really do. So he gotta, he go in his cowardly ways, go in his cowardly mindset, and he take care of it himself. So you gotta stay away from him. that nigga. Put you in the lineup easy. A nigga cross you out thinking you about to cross him out the whole time. Your heart not even there. Playing it's freedom games, life games. I'm genuinely trying to move on from the situation. I'm genuinely trying to move on from the situation because it's so detrimental, and um, I cannot be creative and I cannot work like that. So I just that been hurt. like giving, hiding out, me, running the like, like, I ain't gonna hold me running. Right. running from I, I haven't been giving people chances. I haven't been really like trying to like. Move on. I low key still had like in the back of my head, like maybe he'll come around. But then, as soon as I start it's moving, it's not gonna on, happen, it's just gonna get worse. I know. As soon as I start, and I know that, as soon as I start moving on, he get worse. He get yeah. worse either way. Yeah. No, either way, but once you come, like the word of God says, resist the enemy and he will flee. So you gotta resist him on all angles. 
we got to really suit up with this resistance. When we see it, this nigga yeah. slide through the creases and the crevices. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> so you got to suit up and really get all the way away from him. Where's those out of sight, out of mind? He's going to have to catch you on the internet type shit. Is it not access. We go into protection mode. He ain't right. And he ain't going to get right. He, he crashing out. That nigga crashing out. Yeah, I'm this, Sean, you never oh, thought you like would see him Be honest, you that, never I thought you would see him crash out like this. No, I knew he was going to crash out because I wanted, I wanted my, he was really doing something, kicking me. Do you consider him and the trying to make that you had him on purpose out of spite? I'm like, bro, at the same time, I low key feel like I can take your bitch from you and watch this. Dude, everything in his play is easy. He's really going to be bad. But see, that's that nigga weak. Game. But this is what we got to do. Weak. Everybody <laughs> weak over there. They ain't suited up together. They, they are they And they fragile because it's no it's no loyalty. It's no it's nothing to coming down to. We're going to take the bitch and then we're going to move forward, do what the fuck we do. I don't know what he gonna do, but we just ain't finna be nowhere for the nigga to find us when he ready. But you know what's crazy? You be thinking, bitch, you put her on, she gonna be on for real. No, she's really over there. No, she she's really over there. You know why? She just don't know no better, bro. That's all she know is Blueface. Yeah. Oh, so she just wanna be. Yeah, and he already deposited the money in his, bro. Right. He ain't really kick her out. All that shit was promo promotional purposes for him. But he Everything is ready for shit on her. He is ready to make her feel this. He is because he's spiteful. So he like that's the she betrayed me, of him. and then I'm like, bro, what betrayed the bitch for 13 years? She did one betrayal. Relationship. It's her whole ass. Her legacy is her. What? Like, bro, she have two of your kids. If you don't pipe your little corny ass down, then he no, threatened the bitch. Like it's her he was like, no, mother. no. He will threaten the bitch. I said, you a weak ass nigga for you a weak ass bitch ass nigga for that. He's like, I'm finna leave the kids across the street. I know we heard. So him. you mad about <laughs> me taking my son with me? When you get mad at a bitch, you gonna leave your kids with the neighbor? We heard it. You gave us your idea how it go. Honestly. And that ain't no fuck about it. Who the fuck is the neighbor? And what the fuck they doing over here in the house? And why the fuck you think to put your kids over there when you running? Him saying that gave us a clear me. idea. A bitch that you know for real. How he is behind oh. the scenes. And he a fucked up <laughs> ass nigga. Stop he it, go low with it. Stop it, bro. Christian hopped on Twitter earlier and said, I need a tattoo artist. I need all this covered up. Enough is enough. Now, she said this plenty of times. She said this so many goddamn times that I done lost count. So, I'm not going to believe her until she really get that shit removed or covered up. But I don't know how she's going to get all them big-ass face tattoos covered up and his name on the bottom of her stomach. I mean, that's probably the easiest one to get covered up. But the other one she got, including the one right in the middle of her goddamn neck, like, how she going to cover that shit up? What she going to change that to? A pumpkin? <laughs> like, That'll be interesting, but bruh, I done heard this same song over and over, like, she said she gonna try to get him locked up. Like, why she ain't do this instantly? If a nigga come over there, stump you out, block your eye, as a woman, how can you just sit there and accept that? And then he can to take your baby on top of all that shit, beat your friend up, nobody pressing charges? Like, what type of man control do he got? She keep talking about what she gonna do. She gonna do this, she gonna do that. How about just move in silence and handle your business? Cause this nigga don't care at all. She keep holding on to the hope that maybe one day he gonna get his act together and wanna be with her. What person in their right mind would take all this disrespect, publicly and behind the scenes, take all this shit and still try to hold on to a chance? Like this is some toxic shit. I don't know what hold he got over her, but he could whoop her ass. Pull her hell, out, steal the baby, rob her, control her, try to bring her down, make her feel like she's worse than dirt. And she still keep going back to this nigga. He done had a baby on Krishan. He done had a baby on Jaden. And both of them still are just right there. Thing one and thing two. And Krishan, she end up elevating because the fans end up gravitating to her. She got all these followers, all this money, all this potential. But she keep wasting it by giving all her energy to the nigga that keep on bringing her down. Posting a naked picture of the baby. He claimed the baby when he happy, but when she do her own thing, he don't claim the baby no more. This nigga ain't nothing but a little ass boy in a grown man body. And she keep giving this nigga chance after chance. I hope that she stick to what she said, man. What y'all think about this shit, boy? Be much.